Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here. Welcome back to our Tajikistan 2014 FIFA World Cup qualification. We're in part two, and in matchup two, we have Indonesia for the second round of the AFC qualification. So I think that could be doable, Indonesia, again, another half-star team. But the annoying thing about this qualification campaign is that we've barely had any friendly matches to um, kind of prepare for this game. You know, I like to use friendly matches to get the form up and stuff. The form is pretty good so far, as you can see on the right-hand side. But it would have been nice to have more friendly matches. So I think this part, depending on what happens, will be this matchup. So our first match against Indonesia, our first leg, is away from home. Hopefully we can do it. A couple of people actually gave me some really good Tajikistan facts in the last video about, you know, um, what they were like back in 2014. And a couple of people said that the main striker, um, Dezelov, I think his name is, he actually is still part of the squad today in their run in the Asia Cup. That's absolutely amazing that he's still playing for the squad. He must be a Tajikistan legend. A couple of people in the comments actually um, said that he probably is their best footballer. So that's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. And it's good to see him still playing football to this day. How will we fare against Indonesia without having any preparation apart from the match we had against Taiwan? We were lucky to avoid the likes of Australia and Saudi Arabia, teams like that, because they were in this round. Remember, when you randomise a World Cup, um, it puts the bigger teams sometimes in the preliminaries. And that is quite funny sometimes, because I remember a couple of times that I've had big teams in preliminaries and they've been knocked out by the smaller teams. I also noticed on the Indonesian team that they still have Pumunkas up top. Obviously, if you've seen my 2010 run with them, you'll know that Pumunkas was an absolute beast in front of goal when we did that run. So it's good to see him here. Rubal. Dezelov on the ball here. Into the box. And it's offside. Damn it. The offsides are really annoying on this game. Players always stray offside so many times. The Zaylov pushing his way past and just cut out there by Indonesia. Their defending has been absolutely superb so far. Even though we've been pressing them the most, here comes Pumunkas. Hopefully he's not on red hot form like he was in my 2010 run. Here we go. I uh, don't know where that was going, but okay. Hold on. Oh, God. Blocked, and it's blocked again, and oh, it's a goal kick that time. Okay, we've struggled to find this first goal in this first half. It's going to be half-time, and Indonesia have held on despite the Tajikistan pressure. It's still nil-nil. I am quite confident we can score in this game. We just need that chance to fall to us. That's a good ball. Is there a chance? Into the middle here, and poked, but unfortunately, we just couldn't get it underneath the goalkeeper. Crossed in by Indonesia and uh, nothing doing. Gone 70 minutes without scoring. A little bit concerning on our end because it just means that we haven't finished off our chances. This match has had barely anything. Indonesia are just contented on blocking me every time I go forward. There we go. There's another tackle. It's not been good enough really considering that we smashed Taiwan in the last uh, video. And there we go. That's it. What a waste of a game. In my opinion, a waste of a game. Indonesia did defend well, though. They did. Like, we had a ton of shots and we just couldn't score. It goes back to Tajikistan, where we will play the second leg of this tie. And hopefully, we can get the job done. Here we go, then. Second leg. And we are back at home for this one. Let's hope that we can get the job done here. Because the first match was really frustrating. Like... Indonesia, all they did was sit back. That's all they did. Didn't have any shots or anything. So, yeah. Um, let's hope that we can finish it here at home. I just felt like Tajikistan lacked something in the last match. Um, let's hope they don't lack anything in this one. We've got a new striker up top for this one. Sadov. And he's going through here and it's saved. But hold on. And saved again. And it's offside. Okay, Indonesia lucky. Well, great uh, goalkeeping, I guess. But a bit lucky I didn't get the rebound on the third time. 
over the top here. Indonesia trying something. They seem a little bit more lively than they were last time. Into the box and it's just uh, saved there by the goalkeeper. Every pass I do is cut out now. Indonesia very good at defending. Didn't expect this. Didn't expect this from Indonesia. Sort of a pleasant surprise. Kind of irritating at the same time. We're through here. I thought, oh, I thought for a split second it might have just gone top bins, but no. Goes wide. Sadov, he's running here. And a wide shot there from him. Not the best angle. And again, Tajikistan have lots of shots, but still cannot break down this Indonesian team. Through ball. Sadov. He's through. And, oh, <laughs> okay, it's still nil-nil. Indonesia pulling off the big saves. Go on. And again, caught. This is this is not good, man. This is not good. I can see this game being won by Indonesia just because we have had terrible shots in front of goal. Like it's one of those matches I feel that could go that way because we can't seem to finish our chances and. Oh, the, the ball over the top was good, but this is starting to get very annoying now. Indonesia, man, honestly, how good are they at defending? They are very, very good. And, like, I just I think they're going to win this through penalties or something. Referee! Referee! I stole the ball! Oh, my God, it's extra time. It's extra time. Indonesia, the most frustrating team in the game. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Like, that was the worst match we've played. Over the two legs, that was the worst match we've played. This has to be the worst I've played for a good while on this game. A good while. Um, players are getting out of stamina very quickly. Um, I don't know what the hell happened with some of this formation and stuff like that. I don't really get it, really. But, all right. We're going to have to change things up and hope for the best. Put on some new attackers or something. Over the top. Can we get there? Does they laugh? He's got the ball. Into the box. No! Oh, Indonesia strike again with their brilliant defending. And it's probably more than likely going to go to pens now. We cannot control the ball. I don't know what's happened with Tajikistan. Domination in the first round. Absolutely woeful in this round. Nine shots to one. That is dreadful. And we are going to penalties. If we get eliminated here, it's all over. It is 100% all over. And Dezailov. Boom. That's 1-0 uh, on penalties. Okay. All right. Van Berkering. If that's how you say it. I went that way, and yet the game still said no, it's still a goal. Rabinov. Rabinov, come on. Boom, okay. 2-1 now. Right, it's Pumunkas. Can he score this penalty to make it 2-2? We save it. Nice one. Okay. Right, we could take the advantage here if we get this one right. Vasiev. He scores, and that's 3-1. Okay, all right. I'm starting to panic less now. Enquolo. Enquoclo, or whatever, however you say it. He's put it over the bar. Yes. Okay, we need to score this penalty, and we will go through to the next round. I don't know if Tajikistan have deserved it, but hey, penalty shootout, a lottery, right? Boom, there we go, and we've defeated Indonesia on penalties, and Tajikistan are going to the third round. My goodness, what a frustrating uh, round two that was. Really, really was. Indonesia were so good defensively. I don't know whether or not it was because Tajikistan weren't good in front of goal, or they were good defensively. I don't know. It might have been a mixture of both. Uh, guys, this game has really just absolutely screwed me. Like, screwed me hard. I got through to the next round. And we are in a group with Jordan, Iran and Australia. Wow. 
<laughs> you can kiss qualification goodbye. That's going to be a tough group. And I think I'm going to leave that into the next video because then we can do the whole group in its entirety rather than just doing a part of it now. I think that this round two deserves its own little video because obviously how frustrating it was and everything like that. But before we do that, let's have a look at the other results in the round two stage and the one that sticks out to me the most is Iran absolutely smashing the Philippines 8-1 that is ridiculous I know Iran are better than the Philippines but that is insane like 8-1 it's crazy any surprise results in there any at all I'm having a look and um, Bahrain almost did it against Australia they almost did it was 5-3 in the end almost um Afghanistan getting to the third round, that's quite surprising in my books. Saudi Arabia got dumped out in round two as well by Oman. Not that surprising because Oman are pretty decent on this game. But yeah, some decent results there. So yeah guys, I am actually going to leave it there. I'm sorry it's only a tiny, tiny little part. It makes more sense to do that group in the next video because I think it's going to be the last video of the series. Like there's no way Tajikistan are going to do anything against those sides. But anyway guys, if you did enjoy this video, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it loco as always. Stay tuned for the next part of this series and I'll see you again for the next video.